Let's move on to main topic number four. And our fourth main topic today gets sent to us from Randy Tallman, who writes, Greetings, John. I think it's safe to say we all expected Spider-Man Far From Home to do well at the box office, but did you see that after just its second weekend, it's already almost at $850 million? Obviously, it's going to break the billion dollar mark, but by how much? All right, thanks a lot for sending that in, Randy. And yeah, we were talking about Spider-Man just a little bit ago, but the weekend box office numbers have come in and it's all things Spider-Man. The weekend box office is all Spider-Man. Here's what the box office looks like. Spider-Man in its second weekend, only taking like a 51% official drop, makes $45.3 million. Coming in and again, hitting $847 million worldwide in just at the end of its second official weekend at just the end of its second official weekend it's already at 847 million dollars now we'll look at that in context in just a second let's keep rounding out the top five here toy story 4 made another 20.6 million dollars it continues to go up uh crawl the new film crawl opened up in theaters making 12 million dollars i'm telling you what guys if you have not seen crawl go see crawl also opening in theaters this weekend is the new kamel Nagiani and dave batista comedy stuber not so good. I, I honestly, I can't recommend Stuber, unfortunately. I was excited about it, but it's I don't didn't think it was all that good. Uh, it only makes $8 million in its opening weekend, and the film yesterday makes $6.7 million at the box office. So, another dominant, a second dominant weekend in a row for a Spider-Man far from home. But there's a bigger picture here. Yes, to hear that number, $847 million, it's crazy. That is a crazy number. But let's look at it in context of the history of the Spider-Man franchise. A lot of Spider-Man movies have made a lot of money over the years. And with this, look where it puts it. All time, the number one money-making Spider-Man movie ever is Spider-Man 3, which also is probably the worst Spider-Man movie ever made. But Spider-Man 3 made $890 million at the box office. Spider-Man Homecoming... The first one made in the partnership between Sony and Marvel came just short of that, making $880 million. Look at this. At the end of just its second weekend, Spider-Man Far From Home is poised to pass both of them just at the end of its second weekend at $847 million. That's crazy. You're looking, we're talking about a Spider-Man film that has now come up just short of the all-time biggest Spider-Man movie ever at just the end of its second weekend. Going back to the earlier conversation about was it worth it for Sony to spend $288 million on the marketing? I think this answers that question. I think undoubtedly this answers that question. Anyway, uh, the number four all-time Spider-Man movie was the original Sam Ra Raimi Spider-Man at $821 million, And then Sam Raimi's Spider-Man 2, uh, I think the second best Spider-Man movie ever made, only behind Spider-Man Into the Sp I think Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse is the best Spider-Man movie ever made. I think Spider-Man 2 is the second best Spider-Man movie ever made. But anyway, that had $783 million at the box office. Again, appreciate the context of this. We're talking about a, a movie that's only $43 million away from the all-time number one Spider-Man movie in cinematic history, and it's only been two weekends. It's only done it over two weekends. That, my friends, is absolutely insane. And again, to tie it back into the previous issue, it speaks to the wisdom and how much the gamble paid off. Because Sony putting in $288 million dollars to market this film, that's a gamble. That's a huge amount of money. But they were proved right. Because even at $288 million, with a $160 million production budget, after just two weekends, Spider-Man Far From Home was already profitable. And everybody's swimming in, you know, swimming pools filled with money and champagne. I mean, I mean, that's the result of it right now. And this movie is great. It was marketed great and all that sorts of good stuff. And now here we have it poised to kind of make history. And you know, I said a long time ago that I did believe that Spider-Man Far From Home would join the Billion Dollar Club. Not because of its marketing, but you know, going back a couple of months, I said, look, Homecoming was beloved and it made you know over $800 million. Then everybody's just loved this Tom Holland Spider-Man. He had great a showing for himself in Infinity War. He has a great moment uh, or a couple of shots in uh, Endgame. 
everybody's been looking forward to it, blah, blah, blah. So I thought it would hit a billion. It seems now like this thing could be reaching for Black Panther kind of numbers. This thing could be shooting for like the $1.3 billion range. Now, I'm not guaranteeing it'll get to 1.3, but it looks like 1.3 is within the realm of possibility now. Whereas, hey, maybe it can get over a billion. Now we're talking about 1.3, maybe 1.4. That's incredible. That's incredible for this and just shows that this partnership between Sony and Marvel has been paying off in spades. And another reason why Sony's perfectly happy to keep Spider-Man in the MCU. Anyway, you guys see these numbers, the type of March that Spider-Man Far From Home is on, the way it's dominating the box office, almost $850 million after two weekends. What do you guys make of all this? What do you attribute it to, if not the marketing and, and the success of Homecoming? What else other things should we be attributing this to? Jump down to the comment section below and let me know what you think.